Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Welcome back to the third lecture of Chapter 7, where we're going to introduce the concept of kinetic energy. So we're going to talk about the notion of kinetic energy of a particle, constant mass m, and it's going to use a line integral and Newton's second law. So we need to establish a little bit of uh, the setting and some notation. So we have a particle of mass m moving along a path in three dimensions, and r is the position vector and it's moved by a force from the point P1 to the point P2. Okay, so here comes more notation. At T1, we assume the particle is located at P1, and at T2, we assume the particle is located at P2. The velocity of the particle at T1 or at P1, is dr dt, evaluated at T1, and the velocity of the particle at P2 is dr dt, evaluated at T2. Now you'll see why we need all this stuff. All right, we're going to prove a theorem. The total work done by the net force F in moving the particle along the curve C from P1 to P2 is given by the integral of f, di, f dot dr along the path from p1 to p2, and the answer is it's 1 half m magnitude of velocity 2 squared minus magnitude of velocity 1 squared. All right, let's prove it and then let's talk about it, what it means. All right, f dot dr let's reparameterize the path by t. So instead of dr, we write dr as dr dt dt, and we can integrate from t1 to t2. But dr dt is just velocity, so this is f dot v dt. Okay, now This is the integral from t1 to t2 of, we're going to use Newton's second law, so f is ma, or m dv dt dot v dt. Okay, we can pull the m out, it's a constant. And dv dt times v dt is just v dot dv, using the chain rule. But we can write that integral of v dot dv as one half d v dot v. Just compute it, because we have the product rule for dot products. Well, that's a total derivative. So that's just 1 half mv squared evaluated at t2, the upper endpoint, t1, the lower, though. so that's 1 half mv2 squared minus 1 half mv1 squared, and we're done. Very important to understand all the steps of this. So the quantity T, uppercase T, 1 half mv squared, is the kinetic energy, kinetic motion. It's got velocity in it. If velocity were zero, their kinetic energy would be zero. Generally speaking, an, a quantity that we call energy is a quantity that refers to, that allows a system, particle in this case, to change its state, change its, in this case, motion, change the state of motion. That's heuristic. So the total work done by the net force F in moving the particle of constant mass m from P1 to P2 along C is the kinetic energy at P2, where it ends up, minus the kinetic 
kinetic energy at P1 where it started. So the work is T2 minus T1. Now an important point that I want you to think about. This path is actually a, a uh, solution of Newton's equation, a solution of the differential equations. Convince yourself of that. That has a lot of implications, a lot of uses that uh, come up in many areas of mathematics and mechanics. Okay, kinetic energy, work, Newton's second law. All the connection was made here. So next time, we're going to look at the case where the force has a special form. So, until next time, bye.